man what's going on youtube it's your boy zay I'm back with another video for y'all listen y'all can see where we at man we out here in the heart of nature man you know what i'm saying breathing in that prana you know what i'm saying but um listen in this video we're going to talk about um when the student is ready the master will appear you might be understanding who the student is that's you and you might be understanding who the master is <laughs> and that's you this is why i always try to explain to you guys that you are the master and the teacher you can look at the student as the ego and you can look at the master as your higher self now why do we do this because your ego is a lower version of yourself that doesn't like to play the role of the real you you know what i'm saying it likes to be comfortable it likes to hide it likes to do things that it know it shouldn't do but it does anyway you know what i'm saying it's always in that same circle you know what I'm saying? It's not always expanding. It's not always growing. It's not always changing. You know, staying stagnant. You look at your higher self, and your higher self is always trying to push you to a version of you, being the best version of yourself, doing things that you were scared of doing. You know what I'm saying? Coming out your comfort zone, unlocking those insecurities, learning how to communicate through your throat chakra. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to be nice. Learning how to learn whatever it is. It, it is, and, and and I can say that about anything, about all the knowledge in the world, not just to take it how it is, but take it with a grain of salt. Do your own research. Dive deep into your soul. Don't just take what everybody is telling you, because they could be misled by someone who was teaching them wrong. And now you walking around with the wrong information. Now you go feed it to somebody else, and everybody around you is affected, because everyone was not doing any research. No one's not digging into the soul, asking who they are and why they're here. When the student is ready, the master will appear. You have to understand that no one's going to wait on you. And in fact, you don't even need nobody to wait on you. You're the only person that you're waiting on. You know what I'm saying? No one is going to tell you, yes, they might see your story on Instagram and Snapchat and be like, oh, he working out, he doing his thing. No one told you to do that. You got up, you put on your shoes, you know what I'm saying? You, you put on your clothes, you went outside, you went for a run. Nobody told you to do that. You know what I'm saying? You did that by yourself. When you go to read a book or you find something interesting, you search something up and you go on the Amazon, you shop and you trying to find the book. Damn. You know what I'm saying? No one helped you do that. You did that yourself. So this is why it's this is why I tell you guys, you guys have to understand the power that's within you. You know what I'm saying? And stop looking for these outwardly things that you think can bring you potential happiness. Really, it's a distraction and end game. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people ain't your friends, and I'm sorry. Your family, they didn't switch up on you too. They didn't lie to you. You know what I'm saying? They didn't use you. Yeah, you they used your kindness as weakness, man. I understand. Because I used to be that type of person. Now, I'm not going to say I'm still not. Because I always do got a little heart. But I'm I'm able to say that I'm a little bit more confident with saying no. Because I used to say yes a lot. Because I understand why I'm here. And I understand my purpose. And I understand that I'm a loving soul. I'm an old soul. You know what I'm saying? So I see other people and I see like, dang, I put my, my basically put myself in other people's shoes and have empathy and sympathy for people as if it was me. Like if I'm seeing a homeless person, I'm not seeing him, I'm seeing his soul, I'm seeing how he's surviving, who he is, what kind of kid he is. I'm not judging him on the fact that he's there. You know what I'm saying? I put myself in that shoes and be like, okay, that could be me. What? How could someone else help me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a dollar, two dollars, it'll work. You know what I'm saying? 
I just want to be able to be in a position where I understand that people care about me. You know what I'm saying? And that's the hugest thing with everyone that's on planet Kai, you know, is to want to feel accepted or, you know, even if it comes off at them not wanting to be accepted, you know what I'm saying? Truth of matter, man, the soul always wants to, I'm not going to say the soul. I'm not going to say the soul. I'm just going to say the ego. The ego always wants to feel accepted. I always wants to feel like it's involved in something. Doesn't want to feel left out. Higher self knows that <laughs> the only person higher self needs is the higher self. Because that's the, the greatest version of you. You know what I'm saying? So many people lack what they could be because they're tied to the ego. Not understanding that they're just a student. Well, you can understand that you were the student and the master. You can understand that you can control every reality, everything you think, who you let in your circle, your thoughts. Man, you can become so powerful, man, where you can learn how to focus on the present moment and literally release all the thoughts because you guys have to understand that thoughts aren't you. They're just literally some bubbles that's popping up in your head saying, oh, this is what you should do. This is how you should do it. But truly... They don't even they don't even exist, man. They're borrowed thoughts. Do you guys know that everyone's producing light waves in their head? And someone else's invention that they couldn't bring to life, it sends it out to the universe. And if you can connect to that vibration, to that frequency, whatever that person left off, you can attach yourself and magnitude yourself to that frequency and to that vibration and you can understand that you can bring that invention to life because it truly never dies and like i tell you guys this all the time everything is energy it doesn't die it just transcends so yeah that thought the idea that you can't bring to life it just it goes out into the universe and if you can able to grasp that frequency and that vibration you can understand how to bring that back to life you know what i'm saying and then you're that person that try to bring that invention, you will be coming out of with it because you understand the science of metaphysics. You understand how to connect a frequency and a vibration to an idea to bring it into life, to have it be manifested. You know what I'm saying? You understand that logic. You understand the science. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm not going to make this video too long because this video is kind of too, it's kind of like, Everyone should know this, but you know, we gotta break down things in, in different formulas for other people to understand, because some people won't understand if you just tell them it raw, you know what I'm saying? You gotta break it down and explain it, and dang, oh, I didn't think about it like that. Hold on, this dude might be dropping some knowledge and some gems. <laughs> Listen, you are the student, you are the master of your own life, you just have to know how to tap into that master. You can, you can... Be the student, and you could be willing to learn as a student so you can get to that master point. You know what I'm saying? It's all you. That's what you have to understand. They're both you. You just have to understand how to practice the student to get to the master because you can't just jump from the student to the master. Even though you are that person, you have to be willing to go through steps time and time and time again until you're able to achieve the higher version of your life the master the higher self this is what i speak to you guys so freely to understand this type of stuff but i um, hope you guys enjoyed the video we out here in the nature <laughs> we back uploading i'm not going to say that i'm finna daily upload just expect a lot of videos and all this. Coming back, y'all. Making a, the biggest comeback ever. And, uh, do gotta get a different phone, a different camera. I'm just, I'm just yapping at this point, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace and love. I love all y'all. We go.